members of parliament, the National Assembly and Senate are back. After more than a two-month Christmas recess, they reconvene to a full entry with the 2022-2023 supplementary budget and the 2023-2024 budget ranking high on the agenda. Now, the two houses approve their respective House Business Committees, setting the stage for formal commencement of activities in the second session of the August House. And as Sesto Lale now reports, the legislator will also uh, determine the suitability of Shadrach Mose for appointment as the Solicitor General, Dr. Susan Koech as Central Bank of Kenya Deputy Governor, and UDA Chair Johnston Mudama as a member of the Parliamentary Service Commission. Each session, there are new members that are appointed. It is back to business for the country's 416 lawmakers in the bicameral parliament. The first order of business on the first day of the second session for the 13th parliament was approval of members constituting the House Business Committees in the National Assembly and Senate. In the National Assembly, Speaker Moses Wetangula communicated to the House President William Bruto's nomination of Shadrach Mose for appointment as Solicitor General to take over from Ken Ogeto. The former Kitutu Masaba lawmaker will have to be vetted and his suitability for appointment determined by the House plenary. I therefore urge the, and advise the concerned committees to expeditiously proceed jointly to jointly notify the nominees and the public. The Solicitor General assists the Attorney General in performing his duties as the principal legal advisor to the government and also has a duty to organize, coordinate and manage the administrative and legal functions of the state law office. The Justice and Legal Affairs Committee has 28 days to submit a report to the House. The House also has to determine the suitability of United Democratic Alliance Chairman Johnston Mudama to be appointed as a member of the Parliamentary Service Commission, PSC. I call upon the House Business Committee to schedule the motion at the earliest opportunity for expeditious consideration by the House, acknowledging that the Senate will also consider the nominee so as to ensure that the Commission is fully constituted. The House plenary will determine if he fits the bill to fill the slot left vacant by Samuel Chepkonga, who resigned to contest for the Ainabkoi parliamentary seat in last year's general election. Mission Amendment Bill 2022. In his official communication on the first day of the second session, the National Assembly Speaker listed the 2022-2023 supplementary budget and preparation of the 2023-2024 budget, as well as the medium-term debt management strategy among the House top priorities between now and June this year. In the Senate, the Speaker and House leadership outlined the legislative agenda to members. Uh, one of the things that we have uh, also made as a promise is the issue of holding uh, governors to account. Oversight, extremely important duty of the Senate. And we are in the process of making a, uh, an agreement actually as a House on how we can best handle this issue of oversight. We are only interested to ensure we alleviate the, the Kenyans and to move them from where they are, and ensuring that uh, poverty doesn't exist. The Senate was also altered of the President's nomination of Dr. Susan Koech for appointment as Central Bank of Kenya Deputy Governor, subject to parliamentary approval. Seth Olale, Citizen TV, Nairobi.